Ortiz talks about expectations for their reunion. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. We talked to Mark Bryan and Mike of the band Tease. They're back together. The first time of, well, it's not quite 40 years, but it's close to 40 years because they broke up in the early 80s. A lot of time has gone by, and I had to ask the band what the expectations were, what they wanted from this reunion. It's more like unfinished business. For me, it's maybe not about the money, but about us getting together and, and playing and maybe more of a family thing and, and touring and having fun, you know, and, and just... Uh, yeah, I, I just felt like it was unfinished when we uh, we just let it all go, you know. And uh, I think we have to take a, a wait and see position, right? Because here we we've been away for a long, long time, right? We don't know what the market is. If you know, we know there are people that remember us. We don't know how many of them there are. We don't know where they are. Right? I made a certain phone call to somebody, one of the presidents of a record company, you know, and and then he said, Mark. You got to realize it's 40 years ago or almost 40 years ago. And I said, I know. And he says, you also got to realize you weren't the Beatles. So I don't know what's going to become of this, right? And I, you know, and I, and I was trying to convince him otherwise that, you know, well, we want to just do this and, and we'd like a little bit of support wherever you can give it, however he will give it, you know? So. Yeah, but we're, it's fun. We're having a great time. Yeah. That's, that's the major thing. And, uh, and the first step is become a band again, start playing together and actually have something. So we'll see what we got, but we're ready. So if something comes our way, we can say, yeah, we can go I, do it because we're ready. That, that's that's, that's the first months. step. I'm hoping we could go to Europe. You know, there's a lot of festivals. I see a lot of one hit wonders playing in festivals, you know, and maybe if we end up in Europe on a couple of these gigs, we could parlay it and in going into to England. We probably have some kind of cult following. I imagine we could play some small theaters. You know, yeah, but see the one hit wonders, they had one more hit than we did. <laughs> it's gonna be kinda of tough. <laughs> we're in well, no I can name some groups. We're no hit I, I feel like we're not alone in this endeavor. There's been other guys that have done it. Yeah, so. well but like I said, we know that there's interest here and there. You don't know how much and you don't know, but I think our, our best bet is, is to partner up with another band similar of the similar era and things like that. I think that that, that would be the best bet for us. Uh, I don't think we're gonna we're going to fill places on our own. Well, how did it feel when you all got together again? Like when you got together for the first time to play, Chuck yeah. was, with, was yeah. with you, right? Yeah. It felt like there, the 38 years or whatever it was didn't exist. Well, as far as the... It was like we were right back yeah. to the four guys. I mean, the relationship-wise, you know? Yeah. I just got, you know, the playing a little different. <laughs> it, it didn't sound like... It sounded like 38 years had gone by. It was a little rough at first, especially <laughs> uh, at first. especially for me. Yeah. Just months. getting back into it. And Brian had not really played bass in years. He was, yeah, he's, Brian's been a guitar player. been a guitar player for, for many years. And so, for him... And he, he was even surprised at, at getting himself used to the bass again. And so... Once we sort of overcame that, and now we, you know, starting to, uh, it's all starting to come back. And I had to get rid of the George Jones licks and get a, <laughs> get a heavy metal pedal. <laughs> yeah, I was, uh, uh, Mark, I was checking out your channel. Yeah, I was. Well, see, yeah, Lynn and the Rebels was the name of the group, and we all, we come close. But we were ahead of our time as opposed to Tease was maybe a little late. And we were, uh, we were affiliated with some really good people in Muscle Shoals. And Barry Beckett and guys that go back with Dwayne Allman and, and all these guys, you know, they were back in the band. But it just was too early. And <laughs> shit happens. Yeah. Brian, were you singing all yeah. those years? Never stop. I, I wasn't singing like I do now for the band. It's taken me months to get that voice back in shape. And they've been really encouraging me and uh, singing a lot more. And, uh, you know, leading uh, a large praise and worship band for years and seeing a lot of young kids grow up and go go out and do other stuff. It was fun. I mean, I for years, I even had a brass section, which was new for me. I learned a lot of things I'd never done. But uh, starting to play, very quickly, Mike and I just started to lock in because I always enjoyed playing with Mike. Life, he was a piece of cake as a bass player. Like, we just had a, a connection, and we feel that we're in the pocket together. And it's so easy. I, I know how his kick feels, and, and I try to lock in with him. And Mark, Mark it, didn't, it looked like he never had stopped playing. I don't think you had. No, way. well, I scored that gig with Ponathon on History Television, and I did that. And then I tried to parlay that into a career, but I did a record, and then I never sang in my life. So I figured, well, i got to sing this record. I'm the Bond Man, right? So I did that. And that was kind of cool. And I thought that would have worked for, you know, it looked like it was going to work for a minute. But then again, politics 
played the role in, in the demise of that TV show and it wasn't ratings and back to, you know, mm -hmm. things happen. Mm -hmm. Things happen. Well, just 10 years ago, if, if I would have whispered in each one of your ears, which would have been kind of freaky, I know, <laughs> that you're going to get back together, would you have believed me if I said, hey, you guys will get back together in 10 years? I would have believed you. Yeah. I'd have been all over you to help me. No, nine months ago, I wouldn't have believed it. They wouldn't have. No, really, I didn't see any possibility of it happening because we tried. Like I said, we tried many times, and I thought, okay, well, it's not going to happen. And how many, you know, Brian, we used to be, over the years, we'd speak and just, hi, how you doing, yeah. these kids' weddings and stuff like that. And uh, I think I mentioned it a few times. I think, yeah, if you ever think, you know, it'd be kind of fun to get back together and do a, a one-time thing, something like that. Bring our family members. But then, uh, but then um, it just didn't look like it was going to happen. And Did why keep, I didn't want to keep badgering people. Yeah. So I kind of, and I was good with it. I said, well, too bad. It'd be, be nice if it did. But if it doesn't, it doesn't. And so uh, on we go. But he 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 was doing everything. He To the point of trying to recruit a whole new band. And, uh, <laughs> well, I just gave up, right? At some point, I'm thinking, the songs, I still want to play my own songs, right? So what am I to do if you don't have the band? So I started auditioning singers to replace Brian, and it was such a joke, man. These guys that were sending me tapes, you know? Wow. And, I, and that ended very quickly. I said, this is never going to happen. Well, trying to replace this man on vocals is almost like, you know, trying to raise the Titanic. And sang in the play bass at the same time because yeah. a lot of times he did it separate, right? And it was like too. I, I would be amazed when he would have to learn that, and and the pressure on him to deliver every night yeah. those vocals was incredible. Yeah, it was, yeah. So that's, that's a tough trick. What he had to do. Yeah. A Night of Classic Rock is the next Tease concert. They're playing with Honeymoon Suite and Matt Minglewood in Liverpool, Nova Scotia. It's coming up August 25th. We'll have links in the description of this video for their Facebook page so you can keep up to date with what's going on with the band Tease. This is an eight-part series. We'll have another part coming up next Saturday. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Canada. Mm -hmm.